Hey guys, Tara here from Recovering Book Hoarder. Today I'm going to bring you a book tag and that is the A to Z book tag. So I saw this one over at A Star Reads who I will um, link her channel down in the description. And according to her, this is an original tag from the Perpetual Page Turner. I will have that linked as well. This is 26 questions. There is one question for every letter of the alphabet and it was just such a fun tag. And I was like, okay, I need to do this one. Don't care that wasn't actually tagged. <laughs> All right, so um, if you see me looking down, it's because I need to refer to the questions, but here goes. All right, letter A. Author you have read the most books from. That'll be J.R. Ward with a grand total of 35 books. She has more books than that, but I don't like her contemporaries. Um, I really just like her books that are the uh, urban fantasy. So her Black Dagger Brotherhood series, the Legacy series, um, her Fallen Angel series, but all of those also cross over with one another. So JR takes the trophy on that one. All right, B, best sequel ever. <laughs> this is really hard because I love a good series. So... I'm just going to mention one and I this is one of my favorites and that would be Dark Highlander by Cara Marie Monning and that is book five in her Highlander series which is a time travel Scottish Highlands time travel series and that one is a follow-up to the kiss of the Highlander and I just love them so much. So the Dark Highlander is about my favorite character, Degas McAlter. And yeah, if you like time travel and you love Scotland and you like big burly Scottish Highlanders, <laughs> I highly recommend that series. All right, C, currently reading. Okay, this is kind of embarrassing. I am actively reading several books of which include, I have to look because there's a lot, uh, Bruce Springsteen, All the Lyrics, The House on Foster Hill by Jamie Jo Wright, Once Upon a River by Dan Setterfield, Island of the Blue Dolphins by Scott O'Dell, The Book of Hidden Wonders by Polly Crosby, Reality Land by David Koning, Ascension of Larks by Rachel Linden, Jerusalem Vigil by Bodie and Brock Thoeen, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, and Amari and the Night Brothers by B.B. Alston. That's 10 books. I'm actively reading 10 books right now. Yeah, it's pretty normal. D, drink of choice while reading, coffee. Hands down, coffee. That is usually what you're going to find next to me while I'm reading. Okay, E, e-reader or physical book? Absolutely hands down physical book. Don't even have to consider it. I really despise e-readers. All right, F, fictional character you probably would have dated in high school. Travis Maddox. From the beautiful series by Jamie McGuire. I love him. G. Glad you gave this book a chance. Uh, that would be Legendary by Stephanie Garber. And I say I gave it a chance because I really did not love Carval. I did not love book one. I don't know why, but I decided to pick up book two. And it's not that I hated Carval. It was a three-star read, but yeah, I think, you know, I, I do know why I picked up Legendary. It's because I kept seeing it behind Sarah's head on Sarah, Sarah's nightstand. And it's like, you know, I feel like if Sarah really liked it, then I should, I really should give it another chance. So I read Legendary and I loved Legendary so much. And Carval is now one of my favorite series of all time. So I'm definitely so glad that I gave that book, that series. A second chance. Okay, H, Hidden Gem Book. I'm going to say The Hiding Place by Corey Ten Boom. And this is one that is amazing. True story. Um, Corey Ten Boom, her family, she came from a Christian family and they would hide Jewish people in this built this like room that they built in their house during the Holocaust. And they were eventually caught. Her, 
her sister, her mother, and her father were all taken to Ravens. Well, I know that Corey and her sister were taken to Ravensbrook. Um, and it is her story. And it is just, it's so amazing. Yes, it is Christian nonfiction, but I recommend this book for everyone. I don't care if you're a Christian or not. This is an important story. Um, she finds hope where there's just no possible hope at all. And her and her sister, her sister Betsy. I mean, you just love Betsy. I just, I cannot recommend that book enough. It is truly a hidden gem. Hidden gem. All right, important moment in your reading life, letter I. I, this is a toss up, okay? So it's either the Left Behind series by Jerry Jenkins and Tim O'Hay. And it was when I read that series that I asked Jesus into my heart initially. And then the other one would be um, the Screw Tape Letters, Screw Tape Letters by C.S. Lewis. And it was reading that book that made me truly understand what it was to be a Christian and started what I feel like was my true walk in the Christian faith. So toss up between those two. All right, Jay, just finished. Just finished War Angles is Ruining My Life by Shelley Tuga. And I'll save my thoughts on that for my wrap up. Okay kinds of books you won't read. Um, I will not read anything that focuses on childhood sexual abuse. I will no longer read any new age books. And I really hate economics or anything that is focused on math. So no, thank you. Okay, L, longest book you've read? That belongs to the Believer's Bible Commentary. Um, and that was by William MacDonald and came in at 2,462 pages. M, major book hangover because of. I've had so many book hangovers. <laughs> um, love a book hangover in the sense that means that I just read like a truly amazing book, but hate them because then it's just so hard to find another book that is that good. Went with Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. That was, I think that was my first Francine Rivers book. I love Francine Rivers now. Redeeming Love is actually being turned into a movie that was supposed to come out this spring. I believe it has now been pushed to the fall. Looks absolutely amazing. And the book itself is truly amazing. It is based on um, the biblical book of Hosea. It's, um, kind of a retelling of Hosea and Gomar and but it takes place during like the old west times and oh it just will give you all the feels all the feels and I just said I don't read things about childhood sexual abuse but there is some of that in this book because our main character um Angel she was sold into into the sex trade at like I think it was age seven, seven or eight, real young. So it's in there, but you don't see any like graphic details, if that makes sense. So yeah, trigger warning, but amazing. Such a good book. Absolutely booking, booking over. And they have this really, really beautiful edition that's out right now. Um, it's the anniversary edition of the book and oh, gorgeous. And number of bookcases you own. I have eight bookcases plus one reading cart. Um, and two of those bookcases aren't actually bookcases. It's like my, the size of my entertainment center and my husband doesn't love that there's books there, but books take up the entire thing. Okay, um, oh, one book you have read multiple times. Uh, that would be the Bible. I read a different translation of the Bible each year and have done so for the past, I want to say seven, seven or eight years. So yeah, I read it all the time, every day. 
P, preferred place to read. Well, my absolute favorite place to read is outside at my camp. I don't get to be there most of the time though. So my second favorite place to read is my reading room, which is where we are right now. I have this super comfy chair and it's my favorite place to hang out. Q, quote that inspires you or gives you all the feels from a book. And let's see, for that we are going to go with quote that I read last year that just reminds me so much of my brother and like what it is to be a sibling. Okay, so this is from Lisa Joel's book, Watching You. But until you've experienced the incredible mix of emotions the sibling brings to your life, it's really very hard to imagine. The love and the hate, the fun and the fights, the rivalry and the kinship. No one else knows your world like a sibling does. They're there every crap summer holiday, every day off school, every time your parents argue, every boring Christmas day, every birthday party, they're there. They are a part of you. Love it. One of my favorite quotes ever. All right. R is reading regret. And that honor belongs to A Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. Man, was that a disappointment. Hands down the worst book I have ever read in my entire life. There was not a redeeming character in that entire book. Every single character was just horrid and horrific. And if there's not one character I can get behind, I don't want to read it. Um, I loved, I liked nothing about it. It was truly like, I would never give anything a zero star unless I, no, I would just never do that. Zero stars means I've not read it. Okay. So it has to get something, but if I could give it like a quarter star, that's what it would get. Biggest, biggest, biggest reading regret. Hate it. Don't recommend it to anyone. S series you started and need to finish, meaning that all books are out in the series, but I haven't finished it yet. I've got a few of those, <laughs> um, but we're going to just go ahead and give this honor to the Chronicles of the Brothers by Wendy Alec. There, I have one book left. I've got one and I need to finish it. It is a um, apocalyptic novel, apocalyptic series, and I've been all over the place with it. <laughs> um, there's like two prequels and then there's three books in the actual series. I absolutely loved the prequels. Those were five stars for me. Then book one of like the Chronicle of the Brothers where it started the actual series, I did not love. But it really felt like I got a crap copy of the book. Like there was something wrong with it. It felt like I missed an entire section somehow. I... It was a book outlet purchase, so I guess it's possible it was some kind of damage. I, I just, I don't know. But that was an outlier. I think the last one I gave, I think was a four-star read, and so I have one more left. All right, T, three of your all-time favorite books. Oh, this one, very hard. Very hard. Um, so here are three of my all-time favorite books, but I've got so many all-time favorite books. I went with these three. Um... The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. Oh, the atmosphere, the atmosphere, the characters, the circus, the, oh, if I could pick, I think if I could pick one place to go other than Hogwarts and Diagon Alley and all those places, I think it would be the Night Circus. I love it. Love it. Um, and then I would say the Mitford series by Jan Karen. I can't pick just one, but I'm pretty sure every single book in the series, and it's an extensive series, I'm pretty sure every single one has been a five star read. I love Mitford. Again, somewhere I would love to live. I want to live in Mitford. And then the last one is The Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Album. So good. So, so good. Mitch Album one of my favorites. Okay, you, unapolo Unapologetic Fangirl 4. This honor goes to J.R. Ward and Karen Marie Monning. I love them both. I've traveled to see them in person, um, gotten their autographs. Pretty sure I've purchased every book they have written. Follow them on all social media. And when I met them, it was like, I cried. It's like a dream come true. I met them together at the same time. Oh, yes. 
boy and girl. Love them. Love them both. All right. V, very excited for this release more than all the others. And so I'm going to go, obviously, with something that's not out yet. And I am going to say Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, the new Mina Lima Illustrated Edition, which I believe is coming out in October. It's towards the end of this year. Mina Lima is an illustrating duo that I cannot get enough of. That Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone that came out was the most beautiful illustrated edition of any book I've ever seen, ever. So when I found out that Chamber was coming out later this year, I was so excited. And yes, that is the one I am looking forward to absolutely the most. Okay, W, worst bookish habit. Absolutely, that bad habit is buying all the books when I have so many to read. I just can't help myself. I, just, I buy them. I buy so many. Hey. Uh, all right. X marks the spot. Start at the top left of your shelf and pick the 27th book. Well, so over there, up there, is actually like, I have a whole, it's all like journals and creative books and things like that. And so my 27th book is um, actually a, a completed prayer journal right here. And this was one I kept from July 3rd, 2019 to November 30th, 2019. Um, yeah, I prayer journal every day. I prayer journal. And it is so cool to go back and read and see all the prayers that have been answered and how they have been answered. Um, if you are a prayer, <laughs> I recommend doing that. Okay, why your latest book purchase? So this is actually a shower gift for a baby shower. I am going to upcoming. And that is When God Made You by Matthew Paul Turner, illustrated by David Catro. And isn't that cute? Love it. Um, and this got, this is the first time I'd seen this. It had a solid five stars from thousands of reviews, which is saying something. Um, you, you, God thinks about you. God was thinking of you long before your debut. From early on, children are looking to discover their place in the world and longing to understand how their personalities, traits, and talents fit in. The assurance that they are deeply loved and a unique creation in our big universe will encourage them to spread their wings and fly. Yes, and I gotta say, these illustrations are truly, they're gorgeous. Like, look, love that pretty so yeah that would be my my latest purchase okay and then z our last one z snatcher book last book that kept you up way late and that belongs to mitch album yet again and that would be the next person you meet in heaven it was a one sitter i mean i, I read it in one sitting i couldn't put it down and i'm going to talk about that whenever i do my wrap up for the month let's just say it was on my five star prediction list and I accurately predicted <laughs> and oh man I cried I cried I ugly cried if you follow me on Instagram I, I posted a picture of my red eyes <laughs> after I finished the book yeah that's what I'm gonna say okay that is my A to Z this was such a fun tag so truly um anybody else that sees this and wants to do it you should do it all right, guys, uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you want to find me other places, all of the links for where I can be found on the interwebs are down in the description box. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.